as in previous seasons. Spurtus Pro have returned to the international as major champion winners of the regular season, although it hasn't been the best of regular seasons. If Burtis Pro had a pretty average season, PSG LDD had a terrible regular season in comparison. No majors to their name, didn't look all good all the way through. And then ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The first series we're going to be showing here on the main stage of TI9 live from Shanghai. But full free farm, importantly for Ame. That's the one we're looking at. The Sven is getting no pressure on him whatsoever. Oh, bit of a lift back onto Solo, dragging him into the creep wave. That's why. He'll set up for first, but Solo stepping a little too far forwards. Obviously, what the VP do, they can start to walk Solo over, but FY. He's got a TP available. Yeah, he can. I mean, he's, he's, actually he's, dead. He's, he's He is, he's taking way too much damage. He's going to head up to the tower, but Solo, he's going to be around for the XP on that one. From both sides. Sue is able to start the fight first as our mate. Close to no one, no one starts to poke. Pizzer will get the wrap round, they've been blocked up. Kept on the high ground, there's the ult from Pasha, they're ready to run them down. They're straight away on top of the gyrocopter. Somnus, he's in trouble, they've taken him out. The rest of LGD will be able to get away. Looks like Ramsey's still going to be going for that Lincoln's first item. Probably the Lincoln's into the Aghanims in this game, as the panel was mentioning. Such a good Ags game, as he has that Earthshaker on his team. But the Lincoln's very good versus those instant disables, in particular the Rubik. And he's coming with the wraparound oh. on to mid. Looking for FY. FY has got the heal stolen. But the poison and the arcane curse. That, uh, he's ticking away. Goodbye. They got him. A little tank here, but anytime FY gets caught out by those two. They're trying to take advantage here of the slight time that they expect the Brewald to be down. But Brewald's going to be back up in about five seconds. Pasha does have a TP. He's setting up immediately. Yeah, Defense beat. of the mid tower. And again, Roger. Roger. He keeps blocking LGD off. They keep coming over to VP's half of the map and they can't get back to their own. Exnova's trapped. Roger himself, can he get away though with the telekinesis from FY dragging him back into the missile combo? Stuns out Roger, he's still alive. LGD cannot get the trade kill as Arme tries to move forward, but all the damage over time is a pretty sizable heal bomb. And okay. the Ramsey is looking for Arme. Arme's dead. Double Garamdi challenge. It's a five man ravage, but he's there. The follow up sticks to pop. VP, they're VP? back up to full. They'll collapse the region onto Sokka. They'll get themselves another chalice, will be able to escape. But VP, they are outplaying and coordinating these team fights to perfection. Such beautiful rot I mean, Roger is just coming in so clutch for his team. If Ramses is committing, getting low on the HP because there will be that burst heal and time for him to shift back. He can play so aggressive. Pasha. He's catching them off a little bit. Now down bottom. They don't have enough. The split's going to be out. They're going to look towards Arme. They're going to surround him. Another heal bomb for no one. Bringing Arme down low. Pop the war cry. They Arme, left him. He's, he's been dead. abandoned. They've abandoned him. But LGD, they've got their timing now. They've got the blink on Chalice. They do. Are they, they going to put the finding thing? But at the same time, there's also the potential of the global science. They'll find Solo, so there won't be a global. Or maybe there will. He's actually oh. still alive because of the fact that Roger's able to throw himself in. Global's out. Roger keeping Solo safe. The heels are there. Chalice will now pop the ravage. Up right now. It's a big one for LGD, but can they find any more? They'll start to move across to no one with a gush. Another curse thrown out by Solo onto both X Nova and Chalice. They're trying to chase for more here, LGD. Making quite a beat down here from VP. He's got the constant dispels going. Roger. Roger! He finds Roger! Roger was trying to sit at the back lines in the river, looking for a potential to get him with the Blink Echo. Still sitting around the area. Anyway, it's... If they can time it right and get him with the stuns. There's 15 seconds without Gotcha, but they have BKB on They're the side. Okay, Chalice, he'll jump in to get the vision, stun out to Ramses. Now the Primal Split comes out from VP, and now it becomes a lot harder for LGD to get close to the pit as Pasha will be able to hold the team away, get that space for Roshan to fall, and Aegis to be claimed by Ramses. They might look for a fight anyway, though, on LGD, because they know that there's no split available. Chalice is committing forward. They're going to have Ravage, they're going to have God Strength and BKB on the Sven. They want somebody here. They are committing far. Do have to be a little wary of Roger having the Echo Slam available, but Somnus is ready to go in underneath the tower. Stuns out from Arme, there's the God Strength and Shallow Brave, keeping Roger alive. They'll try and get out of a challenge. It's a five-man Ravage! Jumps in, Echo Slams out, but he does nothing at all. The BKB's out from Arme. He'll turn over towards no one. The stun can drop from X Nova. Isn't enough? No one finally heals. He's They've got the damage. LGD, they get both. As Chalice sees the perfect opportunity, he's not even done yet. Jumps in for another anchor smash. Keeps the pressure on VP as they're pushed back away from the tier two tower. And despite getting the Roche, getting the Aegis, they lose 
the following fight and they'll lose more map control. 30 seconds, we're gonna have these bounty runes coming out. LG, they, they've got creeps hitting the base. They're actually forcing a reaction to the base right now, so they're gonna look to make an aggressive play. They're like, all right, Silencer just went top. We can definitely look for a fight right now. With a full butterfly finished up on Somnus. They're jumping for They managed to break the link because they're in with the silence. The global does command. He did manage to shift before the silence came in. So Ramses has got enough HP to be able to wave one back out of there. Pasha is going to start to fight back with the primal split. Surrounding X Nova. Somnus with the flak will start to kill off the Brulings very, very quickly. Pasha's got to be careful. Ramses with the challenge onto the back lines. They found Roger. Amazing with the damage. Roger's dead as well as Ramses. There'll be a buyback from Solo. They can do it. Sorry, Ramses is Roger. It was Ramses and the Shaky for me, and now they get Roger. They've got both of them. It's a triple buyback from VPs. They'll try and turn. Oh my god. But Just seems like PSGLGD always seems to know where he is in the fights and catching him at the start. It's VP. They will look to set up for bounties. Pasha, though, he's very far up and alone. He's out of the game immediately, walking to his death. VP starting to trickle the way out forward here. What can they find? Ramses. He's going to try and look for the opening. They get the ball. Oh, he's on the back. Oh, two bats oh. one. In with the gold strike. Silence is dead. Now we have to save Pasha for a little bit with that shallow grave, but he's silenced, surrounded by Sonnet. Pasha's dead. No one's taken out. A sentry's in position, so they'll kill him off through the glimmer cane. As no one buys back. And Arme finds him hiding in the trees. Roger. Pasha, as well as Roger, both playing on the left side there. Ame already pops the God Strength, ready to go. And He's jumping in. Solo's dead. Ravage is out. It's going to catch up to Pasha, who's held at the back. Silence to make sure the Pasha cannot get in. Roger. He's trying to poke from the backsides with the Fisher, but LGD just pushing in, taking the Range Rack fortification. It's only going to last so long as they'll wait it out. LGD finish off the entirety of the mid lane of Rax Ramses. He's going to look for the jump board. He's trying for X Nova. Poor old X Nova. But this time, they gave him the cheese. <laughs> they gave him the cheese. X Nova will be able to stay alive with the boys this time. As there's a, this lead just continues to go. And I feel that we've seen VP in this situation quite a few times in the group stage. And game two hasn't gone a, gone a lot better after game one's been this rough. A lot of the games in the group stage where VP did lose. It was very one-sided, very stumpy in this game. For the 20 minutes on with it has been. Chalice is in. Ravage catches onto Solo and Ramses. Ramses, he's trying to play his way up. Back into the Shaker. We'll be able to get the three-man Fisher and jump away. The kiting up. LGD for now. X Nova steps forward. Throws out a fire blast. Freeves a pop. They're back onto the structures. Another tower taken. This push isn't going anywhere. LGD making themselves feel at home inside the base. There's the second, second Ravage. Ravage. Oh, to Ramses. He's going to get the kill. A beautiful comeback story from the Ogre this game. From dying every team fight to taking out their carry. As the racks are down, That's got GG yeah, will yeah. play. It's a win for LTD. It's a win for Ogre Magic. As VP, can they come back in game two? I don't know if they can. This has been... To open up on the main stage. So yeah, this is it should be an exciting game too. And great to see the, the confidence there from RT coming into this. He truly believes in the Ramsey's Terror Blade. And as he pointed out in the past, there's very good reason to, to believe in it. But once he gets BKB, he's gonna reign supreme, right? Who's the only one he really has to worry about when he has BKB yep. is just the Terror Blade. Very fire time, won't save him. BP. They're able to get in on the middle with Solo coming forward with that stun. See bottom. And here's the matter for a bit of a show on to Chalice. He's a tie. Could walk it off. F wise. No leap. Wolf on run. In fact, Solo. He's got the setup with the hex. Roger with the stop. And Solo, he's on a killing spree. This lion. He is also spotted by Ward during this rotation, though. Solo can get this opening. By time for him to come in. X Nova will slow down the move of no one with the eruption. They have the combo. F wise trying to turn an army. Jumps in. Gets one crit. Gets a second crit with the star stop. That's a kill for PSG LTD. As they read the moves of VP. Quickly just darts through the jungle now. He's looking for more. They want Roger. Should be able to have a good shot at chasing this down. There's Roger. He has a TP, but FY's got that arrow. If Roger tries to play his way out of this, I don't think there's any escape for the ET. They're cutting him off as well. X Nova cuts off the other route, so Roger really tried to just play around the lane. The one the distractions there. Arme is left alone. And they're going to start preparing those stacks. There we go, Somnus. 
He's got that seven. He's got a lot of damage. The Hex tries to throw off the combo, but it won't be the case. Still able to drag him back. And it's going to be a long, long sort of time for the PA. Same to be said for the Terra Blade, but maybe even longer so for the PA until she's active. She's going for the Battle Fury build this game. Mid lane. Another set up into the arrow. They're making this. The two best heroes for setting up in the game. Kunkka as well as that Shadow Demon. OD might be the other one that you can argue for, but Pasha is getting surrounded here. On the high ground, he's going to try and roll his way out. They're bringing back into the arrow. Torrent perfectly executed. As they have the disable to make sure there's no way for him to roll away. I think you like. I feel like you have to almost go on PA, like Battle here for PA. And that he's like one of the few heroes, like yep. Anti-Mage and PA feel like they probably just need to if they don't have their own type of star, right? If you don't have a Magnus, you don't have Bloodlust or somebody else that's just giving you that way to farm a lot faster. You don't you think sort of a Deso Rush is, it's, I, it's just too risky nowadays, one bad fight and you're not coming back into a game? I think versus a hero like Terra Blade, it's not worth it. Yeah. Versus the other four, sure, but TB has such high natural armor. Got the pull back onto Roger. Just throw the ult out. It's going to clip onto Sumners. Pasha still trying to fight with the supports as they're rolling onto X Nova. <clears throat> but attack on Solo. Jump in. It's an easy kill for Ame. The these fights now. Yeah, Ame. Battle Fury finished. Desolator next is going to be the one that's queued up. And then more than likely going to be that BKB that he does need. It really does just feel like the power, sort of the growth of the heroes on LGD's lineup. It's it's sort of ahead and it moves Ooh. at a similar pace. Top. Look at this wraparound. They've Solo was hiding. Ame's pretty deep. They've got the disable. And if they got the burst, they should have him here. And they do. VP. They're able to punish a greedy Ame. You get yourself with one or two kills, you can just go straight into the rush pit. And then you're going to be playing with an Aegis advantage and the map is going to get smaller and smaller. So let's see if they can actually catch anyone on me here. Jump forward. Roger. Is that no crits? He just died for like the regular attacks there, it seems. I believe so. Just the damage of the death, so it's terrifying. VP, they've got to hold themselves in the base. It's PSG OG, they're waiting right outside. Ramsey's. He's going to step forward. There's the setup. The creeps will block it, but the demonic purge is down. They'll try and get a top in the fight. Ramsey's challenge is in with the Ravage, and Ramsey's is dead. Pash is going to look to roll forward. The BKB pop for no one. They're hunting for the easy kills. Finger on to X Nova, but X Nova will live. He's out over the trees. X Mark's there. The arrow will whiff. They drag back solo. Chalice, Gush, Dagger again. They're cleaning up these fights. Now that they've started to look for them, PSG OG, they just. They just did a power level that's hard for VP to stand toe to toe with at the moment. And the BKB is down for no one. They're committing forward for it. They're they stopping back. They are going to have the ult coming down, but a jump over from Ami will dodge it. Another X marks there. No one's going to be dragged back towards the team as they take out the Jarrah. They take everything here from VP pushing down. Ami mid. wants more. He's not even done looking for a crit. Won't get it. So Roger gets the chance to stop. But you know that Ami's going to still maybe try and chase. Now he's playing it sensible. It's TI. He doesn't want to throw things away back towards mid Pasha. Starting to print Damn the rest it. of LGD low. A boat will come in, give some of the run to Somnus as he'll look for the TP out. Ramsey's going to fight him, but no, X Nova! Disruption! Make sure that his two calls get out alive, and X Nova in a similar fashion to game one. <laughs> he'll die, but he saves his cause. That is true. It's... It's a buff for everything. Mid lane. They get the roll in, finger out, they should get this kill. Get one. We get one. Question is, how much are they going to lose in return? Will we just solo? Arrow, scout. How would you start this fight if you're VP? They don't have the natural forms of initiation. Pasha wants to, but like we said, he hasn't built any armor and he now has the Vlads at least finished up, but... Oh, Ramsey's. He's fairly squishy, Ramsey's. He's going to get arrowed here. As he stands... They're throwing everything! The Ramsey's dead! He doesn't have buyback! No one's trying to fight back here! He pops the BKB! Ame himself also has the BKB ready, jumps up, a solo stop as well, perhaps. He was AFK! That's just, that might just, be the game. And he, he can't buy back. He just stood there and took FY's arrow to the face. And all that fight, it was for nothing. And they're just going to keep diving forward here. Pasha, x up. He's arrowed. And he's brought down. That's and falling that, apart. That just, but that just might be it. That's no one, he's going to try to commit him. forward. But they, he does no damage. And there comes no the one, no damage. As LGD, they they have really come into this first series of the TI9 main event with all guns blazing. Solo will jump in. They pop the ghost up to Pasha, trying to offer some sort of damage out. They're brought back on no one. They're on softness. They're soft down, and with the splitter, they do kill off the Kunkka. They get one, they need so much more from this though, VP. They'll find Chalice as well. 
They will manage to hold on. We're going to listen to the magnet on this one. But PP though. They're going to get this They road. are into the rose. And they will find it. The arrow will connect on to Ram. And it's another arrow around this. They can't, they can't follow it up this time. And that's a solo. Jump in. He gets the stun off onto two of them. Cooldowns down. No one moves forward. Yes, Shadow will back Solo. Now Solo getting brought down low by the poison passion. In with a the jump, they managed to cut down Night Snow, but Shadow Demon's dead. Buy back straight away. Roger on the back lines with focus. Replay for what? Get back to the game. Get him out of there. Fy, he's been collapsed upon. Ramsey's two kills, double kill. There's no buyback on Fy. Double gems. Pick him up. VP oh, had to buy back on both supports for this, but they're fighting back. Loses a rapier. Oh, oh. Oh, now he's, oh. Going. he's going in. He's going in. He's got the rapier. He's got buyback available. Now, this, this is exciting because if he loses that rapier, this, this this game could really turn. We'll see some big numbers. Full blood thorn on Somnus, so we're gonna see even more big numbers. Yeah. Crits upon crits, Solo. He's gonna look for the jump in. Pash is there. Actually hits the clip, so won't be able to find the Xnova straight away. And it gives Xnova the time to put the disruption. The rest of LGD is moving in. Rams is in with a BKB. They'll kill off Xnova. Can they get more though? They're trying to disengage. He popped oh, BKB and meta. BKB double damage. He'll look for the quick cut first. Solo's down. Now turns for the next. Jump forward onto no one. Back with the high ground. He's still a little scared. As the BKB will wear off, Arme not ready to fully commit. But FY finds no one inside the jungle. Ramses and Pasha, the last two left alive as Ramses is surrounded. They'll jump forward, take him out, and indeed it's scored. It's over for VP in this upper bracket. As PSG LGD take game two, they take the whole series, and again, it didn't look close. This was LGD on another level. VP did not seem prepared. No, PSG LGD in this in this I mean they just seem to have the number. This Tidehunter.